For anyone who wants to try to eat sensibly and exercise regularly, this is a daunting time of year. Thanksgiving is behind us, Christmas and New Year's are ahead of us, and there are all kinds of pitfalls for people who don't want to fall off the wagon. Kendra Jarrett is a nutrition coach and personal trainer who works with clients in Maine and around the country. She's given a lot of thought to some of these matters. Thanks for coming in. It's good to have you here. Thank you so much. One thing to start with is that you know, these, these habits, good habits of eating sensibly, getting the right exercise, this isn't something just for the holidays, right? Right, I mean, this is, what we're talking about today is gonna cover us all year. Christmas isn't the only time of year with challenges and sweets put in front of us, so uh, we should think about applying this all the time. All the time, yeah. you know, start your day, every day with exercise, get outside, get right. some sunshine, especially important this time of the year. These are some of the kinds of things. Now, in preparing for this segment, you did something that I really like. You went and talked to some of your own clients to see what some of the things are that they struggled with. So we're going to get your insights and theirs. Let's begin with point number one about how to stay in line over the holidays. Number one, have goals and commit to staying focused on them. Yeah, this one was common among all my clients who really felt like if I don't have something I'm going after, it's really hard for me to stay focused. So you got to get a clear goal, write it down, hold yourself accountable, and that will go a long way for you throughout the year, not just now. You got a quote from one of your clients, Carrie, who said, although my goals are building strength and maintaining my weight, writing it down has helped me understand and take responsibility for my body. Great tip, writing down the yep. goals, right? Yeah, agreed. All right, number two. Don't let yourself get too hungry. Why is this so important? This one is about having some gauge where you understand that I'm not hungry, I'm very hungry, or I'm very full. The hungrier you let yourself get, the greater the chance you have of overeating. So this is about really being mindful and hitting the pause button before you decide to eat food and being mindful about carrying snacks with you throughout the day so you're not starving, making bad choices, leading to that food guilt that we all know about and experience. You get too hungry and those goals just yeah, go. Yeah, they just you know, forget about them and you decide you'll start tomorrow. Here's what one of your clients had to say. Nancy said, I just stop and ask myself if I just want this or does my body actually need this? Based on how I answer the question, I may or may not make the choice to eat it, but I always ask the question. Yep, absolutely. All right, tip number three. <sighs> this one strikes home right here in this newsroom. Do not mindlessly eat office candy and treats that are more available now than <laughs> ever. As we see around, yeah. Um, I mean, kids are home from college. You have snacks that you may not have normally. There's unique kinds of food that you feel like you deserve sitting around. Do not eat the office candy. <laughs> Leave it alone, set it aside, unless it's part of your plan and you've thought about, uh, you know, I'm gonna make a choice and indulge in this today, but that's usually not what happens. So those are just wasted calories, nobody needs them. Your real life client, Carrie, said planning is key and I've come to learn the art of saying no thank you. There is no magic pill, it takes hard work and perseverance, great wisdom there. Yeah. All right, tip number four, at holiday parties, fill your plate once, hit pause and enjoy the food as opposed to drive by eating. I like that term, <laughs> drive by eating. Okay, so this, I brought this plate. This is one of my favorite things. I do this myself. I go to a cocktail party or holiday party, of which there could be many during the day and evening. Fill the plate up once, sit and enjoy it. You really need to kind of see the food, experience it, enjoy it, and move on, as opposed to grazing and having no idea what you've consumed. One or two of these can be a ton of calories, so just be careful. But Put it on a plate, focus on it, enjoy it. Excellent suggestion. All right, let's end with tip number five. Don't eat after 8 p.m. at the latest on a regular basis. This is just a great rule of thumb. You don't need those calories before you go to bed. Have something like a cup of tea to sort of close out the day and symbolize that the day is over, the kitchen is closed, and it's time for me to relax. So uh, that's another one used all throughout the year. And here's yeah. what your client Todd said. This is one of the guys here, not yep. one of the women, saying, if you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Yep, that's Discipline, my favorite. and willpower really do play a key role here. Absolutely. All right, five great tips. You say don't let this be a time when you beat yourself up. Find a coach, get support, find someone who can help you out with your goals. Yep, for sure. All right, Kendra Jarrett, thank, thank you so much you for so coming much. in. Thank you so much, thank you. We appreciate it. And again, if you'd like to see that full list and get more information about Kendra, we've got that on our website in the 207 section. Stay with us, back with more right after this.